Hey guys, I'm Justin Soderlund. I'm a project manager with J2. Uh, today we're talking about the operation and maintenance of new vinyl windows. Um, essentially we're talking about the trickle vents and we're also talking about the exterior weeps. And if you wanted to maintain your, your window and be able to remove the glass pane to be able to clean it, etc. Um, I just want to give you a few pointers and a few tips in case you were wondering. In case you wanted to, let's say, maintain the exterior of your window or clean the outside of your window, there's a real simple way to open this guy up and remove that, the operable pane. So you want to open it to the fully open position, and what you want to do is grab both sides of the window and lift it up. And you can see the bottom of the window will now clear the bottom of the, the track on the sill. Once you're able to do that, the window comes right on out. You're able to clean the back side of the window. And if you can reach and you feel comfortable, you can clean this part portion of the window as well. So if you do have a screen on your window, and this does not because we're during a painting phase, but what you do is you'd grab your window and there's two tabs on the screen and you'd pull that screen to the side, push it out, and that would come out just, just as the window did. So we would remove the screen, turn it sideways and pull it on into the interior and set it down and then do your window maintenance and putting it back is as simple as taking it out. You wanna make sure it's in its open position and I'm sliding it up into the upper track here. Wanna be sure not to catch the curtains in there. Okay, now we're situated, lift it up, set it down and it's good to go. So talking about the trickle vents, the closed operation is going to be flush against the window or press tight. Uh, the open position is you pull it out, and as long as it's a little bit of a gap away from the window frame, it's good to go. Behind this uh, piece here, this is the, the, the closure of the window vent, there is a small grill or screen essentially that prevents dust, debris, bugs, and other things to come in, but it will allow airflow. So uh, anytime you're inside a room uh, with a closed door, you want to keep your trickle vent open. So let's say, for instance, you're in your bedroom sleeping or you have just taken a shower, um, anything where you're just genuinely occupying the space with a closed door, you're gonna wanna keep this trickle vent open. My recommendation is that you keep it open at all times. Unless you have a, a major inclement cold weather outside and, it's, and you can actually feel a draft, then I would alternate it closed and open depending on whether you've use the space for the shower, use the space um, in a closed confined environment, whether you're sleeping, something like that. Generally just producing humidity or excess moisture. Typically we'll install a trickle vent in a window or in a room that has only one window or one operable window. Uh, reason for this is to allow that room to be able to breathe, so to speak, or allow exhaust air and intake air through this trickle vent. So the reason why we would install this trickle vent on a new retrofit um, remodel project is that we are now sealing up the exterior of the building with what's called an air barrier. And so the air bar barrier will prevent the infiltration, exfiltration of the exterior and interior air. So we seal the building up tight, but we also want the, the, the room to be able to breathe. So that's why we install trickle vents. So moisture inside a unit will cause condensation and condensation will eventually cause what's called water damage. So you don't want any of your interior components to become water damaged. It's a health concern and it will cost you money in the long run to replace it. Excess moisture in the space can also become a health issue if you are sensitive, but, but realistically we just want to keep these trickle vents open so we don't uh, incur excess moisture, any damage, anything like that. When we get a wind-driven rain event and when, when water will hit these windows, uh, the water will, through gravity, go down and sit and accumulate in the window track down here at the sill. And so when you see water, you will see eventually see water filling up this track. Don't be alarmed because the window has implements to drain out this water. And on the exterior side of the window, there are two small holes on the opposite side of the track and they're called weep holes. The weep holes have a little flapper or a damper that prevent air infiltration on a regular basis, but allow water to exit. So don't be alarmed if you see water in this track. 
if this, this track does fill up and it spills into the interior on your sill, what you're going to want to do is clean out this track with a damp rag, clean up the water, any water that has spilled, and then go on to the exterior of the window. And you're going to want to look for two small rectangular openings. Um, and so inside those openings, what you're going to want to do is grab either a pipe cleaner, um, a metal paper clip, or a toothpick, some small device that you can actually stick inside the opening and clear out the debris, whether it's moss, stucco, sand, dirt, caulking sometimes, but anything that's in there you want to clear it out and it'll allow the, the window to now drain. This operation maintenance is dependent on your HOA and the CCNRs, but typically um, the HOA will dictate that the maintenance of the windows is up to the homeowner. And so this is your responsibility if you want to clean your windows on a regular basis, which some people do, you're able to do the insides, clean the outside safely, um, and also make sure that the window is functioning properly by cleaning out or clearing out any debris that may have accumulated in your weeps. All right, guys, so, yeah, so we're on the outside of the unit right now and we're gonna be looking at the weep holes. So typically to maintain your weep holes, what you're gonna wanna do is first of all, you're gonna wanna locate them. This is your weep hole. This is going to drain any excess water from the interior or anything that gets into the sill. It's gonna drain out through these holes. There's one located here on the left and there's one located over here to the right. Now what's inside the weep holes is just a small plastic damper. And what I've got here is just a paper clip that I've straightened out one of the arms on, regular basic paper clip. And so you wanna get in here and you wanna get up underneath your damper. And as you can see, there's a little bit of residual water in there and that's okay. But you wanna get in there and make sure that this paper clip is clear. And anything that is inside the track of the window, you want to be able to get it out of there. So since this window is new, there's not a lot of debris, but if you wanted to maintain your window, this is how you'd do it. And that's about it. So I would generally uh, tell homeowners to check about every six months, twice a year, make sure your weeps are operating correctly, or anytime you see the track of the window filling up with excess water, you're going to want to make sure that your weeps are clean and clear but generally speaking, about twice a year. So the upstairs windows, if your uh, homeowners association has a maintenance plan in place, typically we'll, we'll do gutter cleanings, upstairs window cleanings, those sort of things. Um, you'll also wanna include the cleaning of the weep holes on the upper story windows. So like this window, obviously we can't reach it and we don't want homeowners to be getting out on a ladder or being in a dangerous or uncomfortable position for them. So this is one of the situations where you, one of two things, depending on your comfort level, you can take out the window as we did in the previous video, and you can actually reach outside and clean out those weeps. Now for a window like this one up here, that far weep hole is gonna be a, a difficult challenge to be able to reach. And we don't want homeowners to go and try to attempt to reach that and potentially hurt themselves. So that would be a case where we would have a professional get on a ladder and go ahead and clean it out with something like this. So in the case you have an upper story window, you're gonna have someone like myself come out, get up on a ladder and be able to clean these guys out. And that's it.